Well, off we go. Nicely. Hey, Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. Hey, Rinwell. Do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing! Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet. But I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. What 
What's this doing here? Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. I just found. Hmm? What? Right. Hmm. Anyway. 
Got it. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kinda on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my... Flames and my technique. We're stronger together than we are apart. Little help! I'm on it! Dazzle! We're ready to stab! 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 With my comrades, I'm unstoppable. And what about without them? Uh, more stoppable? I'll take that. This should be a good place to fight. 
Wow, Kisara. It's so big. You're, you're talking about my shield, right? Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me. Managed to pull through. You guys want to rest? Here? Who wants to bet it's sunny tomorrow? And where exactly do you think the money for this bet is going to come from? Ten Gold says it rains. Joe Halim! Good. This came out just the way I... Hey, what's the smoke? Is it an enemy attack? Seriously, it's making my eyes and throat burn. Uh, it's probably some sort of gas. Those... Isn't this just cooking smoke? What kind of food makes your throat burn so bad just from the smoke? I believe Alfin is. They're trying to gas Alfin? What? Those sick bastards! I won't let them get away with this! Calm yourselves and listen. I was simply trying to say that Alfin is the one cooking. Oh? Hmm. Maybe I should throw in some more spices, just for that extra kick. Yeah, that'll help. I think I'll turn up the heat while I'm at it, too. <sighs> oh, crap. The spice is burned. Well, uh, at least the meat's coming along nicely. All right. Now I just flip it over and then. Uh, uh... Uh, 
Hey, Alfin. What, uh... What are you doing over there? Oh, Shion. Perfect timing. I actually just finished roasting up a chicken. Call everybody over so we can eat together. I used a ton of spices, so it's got a good punch to it. Might have overcooked it a little, but it should still taste good. I'm starting to understand why your food always tastes so damn spicy now. Hasn't anyone told him that it is actually possible to have too much of a good thing? If that's the taste he truly wants, far be it from me to contradict. His cuisine is a rather... delicate repast. A warrior without breakfast is a flower without sunlight. I guess so. That's not a saying. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. 